Hi, Divine Masculine, Kaisha here. Thank you for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. You are appreciated. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, don't be shy, subscribe. Okay, so how do you guys like the angle? I've been trying different angles out, but it is, it's very late. It's probably like three or four in the morning and I'm in my room. <laughs> so we're going to be doing this angle because I'm not trying to expose myself, okay? But um, how you been doing? How you been doing, Divine Masculines? Cross watchers even, okay? Hope you all have been enjoying this great weather. I'm in Canada and the weather's just been fabulous. I love it, I love it. If you are interested in a personal reading, um, you can hit me up on the live line, Your Harmonic Way. I apologize in advance, so I'm um, recovering from a chest cold, so I get short of breath a little bit, so bear with me. Thank you for your patience. Also, I am having a summer sale, okay, it's bringing in the season. It's a summer mini reading sale, so you can see it on um, Instagram. If you follow me on Instagram at Light Group Life, or come on, come and follow me on Instagram at Light Group Life. But it's a $40 reading. I've also posted it on the community board. So if you are interested in that, you can order a mini reading and um, you can bang that out and get it done. Get it while it's hot though. Uh, the sale ends at the end of May, okay? So, okay, Divine Masculine, let's see what's going on with you. Let's see what's going on with you. Once again, thank you for being here. I appreciate you, Spirit. Thank you for your clear and concise messages. I'm here and I understand them. What messages do you have for the Divine Masculine Collective that's for their highest good? Okay, you've got Starlight in reverse. Is the deck in reverse? No, okay. You have Expression in reverse. Divine Masculine, what is up? And you have God, okay? Father of the Sky, which is the Divine Masculine's card. So you're here, you're showing up in your reading. What's going on, Divine Masculine? What is going on? Let's clarify. You know what, let me do this. For um, the thumbnail, okay? The thumbnail here. Okay, so let's clarify. You have, Spirit, please clarify the starlight in reverse. So my inner vision guides me to my higher purpose, but Divine Masculine, this is in reverse. So either this is a challenge for you or you're not doing this at all. Spirit, please clarify. Or this could be someone else's energy. Let me not jump to energetic conclusions. Spirit, please clarify. Starlight in reverse. Oh, okay. Oh, there's a lot of cups here, Divine Masculine. You see, you, you in or you out of your feelings, okay? Divine Masculine, is there something that you didn't see? Mm -hmm. Something that you didn't see here. Spirit, please clarify. Um, can I just get one on... Ace of Cups. It's like you presented. Hold on, before I say something, let me let me do this. Okay, so I am an intuitive reader, so I'm just gonna put that out there because I, the messages that I draw from the cards may not be what, um, if you are a reader, what other people would read it as. You know, I just, I go with what I hear, what I feel, what I see, what I'm told. Spirit, please clarify Eight of Cups. Oh, Spirit, please clarify Queen of Cups in reverse. There's a lot of cups and a lot of coins here, Divine Masculine. Wow. 
Divine Masculine, do you feel like you ran your person away? Do you feel like you pushed them away? Because you didn't see something? Some of you were ignoring your intuition here. Do you feel like that? Because it's like, uh, whoever I'm speaking to, whoever this resonates with, it's like you took a long time to give someone an offer. And then when you gave it to them, you walked away. But you walked away because of insecurities, right? You don't feel like you're good enough. You didn't feel like you could, for some of you, provide, right? Some of you felt like you didn't have your shit together enough to be with anybody else. And now you view your person as they don't want you anymore. They don't want this higher level of commitment with you anymore, right? For some of you, you're viewing your person as just being tired of you. Some of you feel like you waited too long to give yourself, um, to give your person your cup or have a brand new beginning in love. Divine Masculine, some of you are upset because now that you want this with your person, they don't want it anymore. Let's clarify Ace of Cups. Some of you feel like you need to figure yourself out before you even enter the realm of love, right? It's like, I don't, how am I supposed to know what to do with you if I don't know what to do with myself? And Divine Masculine, you know what? I respect that. I respect that, right? The one, <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at this. Please clear for A of Cups. For some of you, it's taken a long time for you to realize that your person is the one for you, right? It's take like, ah, oh, man. But now, for some of you, you, you know your person walked away from you because of the trust, right? Because you broke their trust. And you know they're not coming back. Because trust is a building block. It's a foundation of a relationship. And some of you, you kick that shit to the curb. I'm not going to lie. Like, you really, you really messed that one up. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify Queen of Cups in reverse. Some of you, you, your energy is like, you know, your person shouldn't trust you, right? You never gave them a reason to trust you in the past. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you're viewing your person as very independent. So this is not, your person is not someone who's going to get upset and be all, be all clingy or be on you all the time or trying to call you and text you down because they want to talk about stuff and to know <laughs> your person will be upset by themselves. Yeah, they will because they're very independent. So even if they're in their feelings, they're not going to call you down. They're not going to text you. They're not going to reach out to you. They'll just be in their feelings in their own quiet little corner somewhere. Mm -hmm. Let's clarify that. How is it? Some of you, you are upset because your person is too independent, right? Some of you, you're used to this at this energy. I feel like you're used to energies of people being on you all the time, divine masculine. I'm not going to lie, right? Used to people being all up in your grill. And your person is not like that. They're actually the exact opposite, right? Or if they used to be, they're not like that anymore. Yeah. Divine Masculine, are you afraid that your person is going to go meet somebody else? Yeah. What what's the issue here? Is now this is either you or this is someone else who's upset at the fact that you are you you don't need them or they don't need you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Are you upset or worried that your person may meet someone else? Mm -hmm. Because it, 
it doesn't sit well with you of the thought of your person being in a committed relationship somewhere else with somebody else. Yeah. That actually gets you upset, Divine Masculine. Mm hmm Okay, okay, okay. But for some of you, Divine Masculine, I'm not coming for you. I'm just being honest. Okay, I got to say the messages as they come. I feel like some of you did not see that your person was your person until the 11th hour, right? I feel like you didn't realize that until it didn't matter to your person anymore if you guys were together or not, right? Like you, you waited that long. You waited that long. You did a lot. And for some of you, this is the other way around. Someone waited too long to see that you were their person. The things that they were doing was slowly but surely eroding the trust in the relationship. So by the time they actually got it and wanted to come back around, you don't care, right? You don't want them like that. Now you may still be upset about things, but you're good on your own. Hmm. Sorry, can I get one on nine of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, look at this. So either you, Divine Masculine, or the energy you're dealing with did not feel. I do feel your energy, though. I'm not going to lie. It's like you felt like you weren't good enough for your person. Mm -hmm. You didn't feel like you were mirroring each other. You didn't feel like you were on your person's level. I feel like some of you could have intentionally or un unintentionally sabotaged things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that either you could walk away or they could walk away. And now you're upset about it or they're upset about it. Okay. Swear, please clarify. Expression in reverse. Mm. Please clarify expression in reverse. Divine Masculine, you may have issues with self-expression. Mm -hmm. You may just be realizing that now. Right? You may be having a hard time expressing yourself. It's like for some of you, I'm, I'm getting this energy of things coming out the wrong way or being seen the wrong way. Do you feel like you're misunderstood? All right? Yeah. Oh boy, huh? Mm hmm. Divine masculine. So, Spirit, please clarify page of coins. Please clarify page of coins. Please clarify page of coins. Yeah. Please clarify judgment. Wow. Please clarify, Queen of Swords. Your person is showing up here, Divine Masculine. And they're showing up with their sword on their lap. <laughs> yes. They're showing up as Queen of Swords here. Some of you, you're getting no play from your person. Like, they're not even, they, I'm not going to lie. They ain't fucking with you. No. No, they're not. They have walked away, and you know that. But the thing is, Divine Masculine, you know why they did. You pushed someone away because you did not feel good enough. So you projected your insecurities onto them or someone projected their insecurities on you. But put the energy where it goes. You know your story. I'm just here to clarify. But I feel like somebody has made a final decision here to withdraw their energy. Mm-hmm. And this has caused you to, if you were feeling insecure before, you really feel insecure now, right? Some of you, your person, and this, this is, goes back to the trust. Your person could have found out about a third party or third parties. And that's why their boundaries are up with you. Mm -hmm. And that's also why they moved on. Your person realized that they don't need to deal with stuff like this. They show up as the empress, right? 
Divine feminine energy? Divine feminine is not doing that. No. They're not options. They're the only choice. And either you see it or you don't. Mm -hmm. Right? But as you can see, I feel like with the mirroring each other in reverse, I feel like divine masculine, your person is very confident and you're not so much, right? Because your person shows up as being upset, being very upset about things, but at the same time, they're still good. They're still holding, they're still standing on their own feet. They're still doing what they got to do. Your person's very independent. But some boundaries were put up here. Yeah. And I feel like it kind of took the wind out of your sail, Divine Masculine. And now you're feeling like you have the weight of the world on your shoulders. This shit's really bothering you. For some of you, you tried to play some kind of game here. And this is why. This is why it was getting earlier. It's like, um, is it tit for tat, cat and mouse? It's like you tried to manipulate a situation and it did not go the way you thought it was going to go. Mm -hmm. Or someone tried to do that to you, Divine Masculine. Like I said, put the energy where it goes. So this is like um, someone doing something to get you jealous, thinking that you're going to chase them and you don't chase them. You leave their ass alone, right? And you leave their ass alone for good. Like you're not even entertaining any ideas of getting back together. Someone did not think that you were going to do that. They did not think that it was going to go that way. In their mind, they thought your ass was going to come back, right? Or Divine Masculine, in your mind, you thought someone was going to come back, right? But that's not how it worked out, right? Because I feel like whoever did the walking away here, they're not playing. Like, they're, they're done. They're really done. That's a wrap. Someone realized that they're not here for the chaos and the conflict and the drama. They're not here for the third parties. They're not here for the gossip. They're not here for any of that, right? They've made an executive decision that they are not going to be giving to anyone who's not giving to them. That's divine feminine energy, right? Someone realized that they'd be a lot better off by themselves anyway. So that's what they did. They went off by themselves. And don't get it twisted. This person is upset. They're, they can be sad at times. They could be pissed off at times, but they're still good on their own. It's like, how dare you think that you can play me or treat me like that, right? And this is that confidence. This is not arrogance that's coming from this person. It's confidence. It's like, you don't recognize what you have. That's okay. Maybe my absence will show you what you lost. Fuck. That's that divine feminine energy, baby. <laughs> Don't play with it. Don't play with it. Wow. Spirit, can I get one on... Um, what's this three of cups in reverse? What's this three of cups in reverse? Dress it. Oh, I can't make this shit up. Wow. Yeah, Divine Masculine. Your person has their guard up because of third parties. Yeah. Please clarify Queen of Swords in reverse. Yeah. And they're, okay, so two things here. Whoever you went to, or whoever went to someone else, it was not the best decision to make. They were on the wrong path, right? Someone allowed themselves to be led astray with temptation. And they lost what was actually valuable, right? Spirit, please clarify judgment. Yeah, but yeah, can't make this up. Your person has decided that they'll be better off by themselves. They can do better by themselves or divine masculine. You decided there are some divine masculines in this collective. I am picking up on your energy that someone did this to you. All right. And you realize that you don't, you don't need this shit, right? You can do good all by yourself. Spirit, please clarify page of coins. Yeah, you cut, you cut the scene on, you left or somebody left. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting such a, this is someone whose mind is made up. Yeah. Like there's no, 
There's no convincing this person otherwise. They already said this decision is set in stone. And I know most things are not set in stone, but whoever made this decision, it is. It's set in stone. They're not coming back. Let's clarify six of swords. Because they were guided by their guides, angels, ancestors to move on. Because someone is was definitely not here for some kind of third party drama. No, they weren't. Right? Had people talking about them and and being cheated on and looked at and laughed at. And someone's like, no, I'm a whole fucking empress over here. Are you kidding me? That's what you're bringing to the table? Drama and gossip and embarrassment? I think the fuck not. Right? You are not ready. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify Six of Swords. Yes, I told you. Balance and harmony. Whoever made this decision... You want peace in your life. They want peace in their life, okay? And they're not here for the drama and the mess. So they just removed themselves. And that was it. And they were guided to do that. Their ancestors said, get in the boat. Let's go. This is not your scene here. You're not about this kind of life. Because somebody sabotaged things because of low self-esteem and low confidence and insecurity. Instead of just working on those things. I feel like somebody wanted someone to stroke their ego to make them feel good about themselves and they didn't get that because they went about it the wrong way. They thought that by getting someone else involved to make someone jealous that was going to have them running back to them, but no, it made someone run away from them. All right? When you know with the, look at this, with the Empress energy, when you know your worth, you don't chase people, you attract them. So if someone is showing you that they're not interested, you're gone. Mm. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify God. Yes. Mm. Oh, divine masculine, you're feeling rejected. You feel disappointed. You feel like you missed an opportunity. You feel like you really pissed in the soup on this one. Mm -hmm. And you feel like something's not going to change. But Divine Masculine, you may not realize this now, but this was Divine Intervention. But you're trying to prevent it. And with the Tower in Reverse here, it's like it's this is going to happen. Okay? This was inevitability because whoever was doing this, it's like a, eventually someone was going to get tired of it. Right? Eventually, someone was going to walk away. All right? And it's it's weighing on you. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify the tower in reverse. Wow. Yes. Mm -hmm. Divine Masculine, you know that something's done. Yeah, you do. Or someone knows that something's done. And it's not going to change. Mm -hmm. Because whoever walked away, they were trying to avoid some kind of disaster or they dodged a bullet. And they know that they did. Mm -hmm. I just feel the energy of someone who's so insulted at the fact that somebody would put them in a third party situation. And they show up as the empress, right? Divine divine masculine, put the energy where it goes. But someone's energy shows up as they're all the queens in the deck, right? This is uh, Whitney Houston. I'm every woman. It's all in me. So what exactly were you fucking looking for out there? Because everything you were looking for, I already possess. So if you don't see it, you're not, if you didn't see it then, you're not going to see it now. And whoever this is, they're not waiting on it. They're not waiting for you to see it. Or you're not waiting for someone to see it. Right? Like, whoa. So someone is gone. Spirit, so please clarify King of Coins in reverse. And Divine Masculine, I feel like... I feel like you're upset. Because you know that your person is the one for you. Mm -hmm. You know that. And you were very cold and standoffish and mean and selfish towards 
the person that you should have been generous and kind and loving and giving to. Because this is someone you have a true connection with. The lover's card came here, came up. You know that this was your person. And you were treating them the exact opposite of how you should have been treating someone that you love and cherish. Or someone was doing that to you, Divine Masculine. So because whoever walked away, they 100% know their worth. I swear, please clarify four of cups. All right. Look at this, the tower again, all right? Some of you, you, you never thought that your person would go. Mm -hmm. You felt like, or someone felt like they were loved so much, ain't nobody going nowhere. Doesn't matter how many times I cheat on you. Doesn't how many times I talk shit about you or I treat you bad or I erode the trust in the relationship. You love me so much, your ass is not going nowhere because you want to be in this relationship. Because you want to be in union with me. Someone had gotten something completely twisted. Yeah. Someone had underestimated how much someone values themselves. Hmm. Someone did not think that whoever walked away was going to choose themselves mm -hmm, over a relationship. They didn't think that. There was arrogance here. Or some kind of distortion in the way how someone was thinking. And then they got a reality check. I'm seeing seven of cups in my third eye. Because this tower moment, this was divine intervention to show, to teach a lesson as well, right? To show how you're supposed to treat someone that you love. And that tomorrow is not promised. So do what you got to do today. Treat people who love you good. Be loyal, be honest, be faithful, be there for them. Because Divine Masculine, I'm not going to lie to you. This was, some of you, when your person left, you were absolutely fucking shocked. Shocked to shit. It's like, wow, this could have happened abruptly. Like, you guys got in an argument and your person said it, they were done. But this was a long time coming. Your person was already working up to being done or you were already working up to being done with them. So by the time it came around, some because someone in this dynamic thought that it was going to be the same old, same old with the tower in reverse, right? They thought it was going to be the same old, same old. We get an argument. We don't talk for a couple weeks. Maybe if, maybe one or two, three, two, three months. I'm hearing one to three months, 90 days, right? And then you get back together. But when they realize that the door is not open anymore and someone fucking moved out and moved on, they're shocked as shit. Someone thought it was going to be the same old, same old. Oh, you say you're done with me and then we get back together. And then they tried to come back around and they got blocked. It's like, mm, okay. And it's because someone was not showing up the way they were supposed to. Not at all. And Divine Master, I'm not going to lie. This is you. Or whoever this was. This could be you or the person you were dealing with. They were a real son of a... <laughs> okay? Some of a bitch. Right? With the king of coins in reverse, this is someone who put money over a relationship. They would sleep with other people for money. It was very superficial. They're very shallow. They can be very vicious when they don't get what they want. Like they want to attack you when they don't get what they want. Right? They'll use you. For, by any means, right? As long as they're getting some kind of benefit out of it. If it's not benefiting them, they're not here for it. And it's like spirit blessed you with this beautiful relationship and you fucked it off. So you how how you shocked now? Did you not think that that's what was going to happen? And divine masculine, if this is what someone did to you, did they not think that that was what was going to happen? Someone thought that you loved them so fucking much. They could treat you like shit over and over again and you weren't going anywhere. Their ass was wrong. Someone got a reality check. This tower moment opened someone's fucking eyes. Right? That their ass can be rejected and their ass can be replaced. Mm-hmm. I'm hearing um, Beyonce, you must not know about me. I can find another you in a minute. Mm-hmm. Because somebody's not coming back. Because they know that they deserve better. And they deserve more. Hmm. All right, all right, all right. 
And now someone's here feeling stressed and feel like they have the weight of the world on their shoulders now because they were rejected and they missed them. They know they missed a huge opportunity with the person that was for them, made for them. Spirit, please clarify. Um, please clarify tower in reverse. It's like someone was trying to avoid something or did not think that something was going to change for so long and then it changed. Yeah. Some, I told you. This was a dynamic of someone thinking eventually we're going to get... This always happens between us. Eventually we're going to get back together, right? We break up. Yeah, I cheated on you. Yeah, you found out about somebody. You're going to get upset for a little while and then we're going to get back together because you love me so much. But what someone failed to realize that underneath the surface, someone was becoming, <laughs> right? The butterfly was in metamorphosis here. Like someone was becoming who they're supposed to be. And that's a very powerful individual. So all the time someone was fucking around, someone else was growing. Right? Every time there was a trust was being eroded or there was cheating allegations or something was found out, someone started to love themselves a little bit more and gained a little bit more strength and stepped a little bit more into their power until they're, boom, they're finally here. And they're just like, oh, I really don't even need this shit. I don't need it. No, I don't even want it. And they're gone. Spirit, please clarify. Please clarify. Someone did not think... Someone was going to make a decision to be done and, and mean it. Please clarify King of Coins in reverse. Because it, it was like this. Yeah. Wow. 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 Someone knows that they fumbled the bag with their person. They're keeping it to themselves though. All right. And I do feel this energy of someone feeling really fucking stupid. Yeah. Wow. Spirit, please clarify four of cups. Because they weren't paying attention. And this is goes right back to <laughs> the reading went full circle. Someone wasn't paying attention to something before, right? That's how the reading opened up and that's how the reading's closing. All of this happened because someone wasn't paying attention or they're paying attention to the wrong things. Someone did not think that the friggin' tower was going to fall and someone was going to cut the scene on them. They didn't think that, not for a second. Spirit, please clarify the tower. No, yeah. They thought somebody was going to continuously be patient and wait, wait around and keep giving chances. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I feel like somebody ran out of patience. Yeah. And there was someone who was taking advantage of the fact that somebody is patient. Mm -hmm. They never thought that someone was going to walk away. Mm -hmm. Wow. Spirit, can I get any last messages for the Divine Masculine Collective? Any last messages? Hostilities. Someone's sword is up. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. So someone's, like I said, divine masculine, put the energy where it goes. This could be you or this could be the person you're dealing with. But somebody has their sword up. Right? They are very being very defensive and they're protecting themselves. Whoever this is, this is, they know that they're wifey or husband uh, material. They know that. They know they cut from a different cloth. So Either you come correct or you don't come at all, right? And this is someone who's not lying to themselves here either. You know, they're not pretending that everything is good with someone when it's not. They're not um, pulling the wool over their own eyes to stay in a relationship. If the relationship's shitty. No, this is someone who's not lying to themselves. They know that they're good. They would rather be by themselves and be happy than be in a relationship and be sad. And whoever this is, they... They're good, right? Like this is someone who's stable, they're secure, they got their shit together, right? They're protecting their energy. 
All right, so this is what Spirit's saying to do. See things for what they are and stay guarded. Protect your energy, All right? Don't be afraid to defend yourself. Don't be afraid to stand up for yourself. Yeah. Spirit, can I get... I just want to see what this is. Um, Spirit, please clarify hostilities. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Whoever this is, they're protecting themselves. And... Divine masculine, they're being advised to protect themselves from someone. You're either you're being advised to protect yourself from someone, or someone's being advised to protect themselves from you. Mm -hmm. But you got the hostilities clarified by the emperor in reverse and two of pentacles. This is protecting yourself from someone who is juggling you, who brings nothing but loss into your life, who makes you feel overwhelmed, right? Or protect yourself from someone who is overwhelmed or overwhelming. Mm hmm. And they just try to like possess you and control you and manipulate you and they're petty. It's like, yo, keep your fucking guard up with this person, right? This goes back to that king of coins energy in reverse where they get really vicious and nasty when they don't get what they want. Someone is protecting themselves and spirit is advising them to do that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because they don't want anything. Either you don't want anything with this person or they don't want anything with you. Spirit, please clarify woman holding a coin. Right? Somebody fumbled what could have been a very spirit. I'm hearing a lucrative and happy situation, right? So there could have been love and money, and someone fumbled it. Spirit, please clarify woman holding a coin. Yeah, look, wheel of fortune in reverse. Someone kept keeping something in a karmic cycle here because. Of the actions, the things that they were doing, the choices and decisions that they were making. Right? So it's either divine masculine, you are in a karmic cycle here that needs to be closed out, or the person that you're with is in a karmic cycle that needs to be closed out. But it's because of with the wheel of fortune that talks about the choices and decisions that you make and the results that they produce. If you keep doing the wrong thing, you're going to be getting the wrong results. If you do the right things, you're going to be getting the right results. You know? Spirit, can I get some more on women holding a coin? Someone also sees that somebody is a karmic. Yeah. Or um, someone's in karmic energy. Yeah. And it's like, it's time to learn a lesson here. Are you going to keep doing this going around and around like in circles with someone or learn the lesson and move on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone feels like, now this could be you. And this could be the person you're dealing with. That if they st continuously stay in a cycle with someone, they're just going to continuously be treated bad, be treated poorly, right? They're not going to be treated well. They realize that. And they're not here for it. Spirit, please clarify to see them in reverse. Yeah. And they've had a lot of time to think about it. There's This is why someone can see something so clearly now. They've taken time for themselves to go over things. This is like after a breakup, you take some time and you start remembering things. And this is how you know, this is usually how you decipher or differentiate if something's karmic or not. You don't really realize that you're in a karmic cycle with someone until after the fact, right? When you get some time to yourself and you can actually do some reflection and then it's like you start putting the dots together and you're like, oh my God, right? But then you, you look at what you learned from it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Peace of wands. Yeah. Hmm. Someone is not lying to themselves anymore about the fact that somebody lacks emotional intelligence and emotional maturity. And I even go as far as to say emotional stability, right? They know that.
Wow, you got King of Cups and Queen of Cups in reverse. All right, so this is somebody realizing that if they stay continuously have a new beginning with someone, it's always going to be that. They're never going to finish anything. It's always just going to be a new beginning. Now, the sex may be really good with somebody, but it's just, it leads to nothing. Yeah. Someone knows that every time they let someone back into their life, they're going to end up in an energy that they don't want to be in. They're going to be upset, all in their feelings. They're not being, um, this is not tapped into your intuition because you're always upset all the time. They're going to end up being emotionally unstable and they don't want to feel that way. They want to feel loved and supported and cared for and nurtured and taken care of. Right? They don't want to be with someone who's always trying to call them out of themselves, right? And always try to piss them off and trigger them and get under their skin. And no, someone is absolutely sick and tired of that kind of dynamic. It's stressful. So someone is seeing something for what it is. In order to stay in someone's world, you have to match their energy. And whoever whoever walked away realized that they don't want to match the energy of who they walked away from because it's not high vibrational. It's like, I don't want to be like you. I don't want to be fussing and fighting and arguing all the time. I don't want to be stressed out and upset because I found out about a third party again. I want to be happy. I want to have peace and balance in my life. And that whoever moved on, that's where they went to. They went somewhere peaceful where they can think clearly and have peace of mind and peace of soul and balance and harmony in their life. That's what they really want. That's why they're not coming back. And this is someone who's had, uh, they've had some time to think about this. In hermit mode, that's why they stay away. It's not out of hate. It's out of protecting their peace. Hmm. Okay, okay. Divine Masculine, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.